and back. All right, let's um, finish off this. <coughs> uh, finish off this animation. So he's uh, grabbed the gun, raised it, boom, and uh, now he's just going to reholster the gun. So once again, selecting the uh, the hand in the timeline, and now we'll bring it back to. We'll pull it back away first, back and then we'll lower it down into the holster so actually um, I'll show you how to remove keyframes I don't like that that first pose that I just put there so I'm going to select those three keyframes by dragging or shift clicking all of them one two three and I can just simply press F7 to remove the keyframes so now he comes straight back to there I'll just uh, same as last time, grab the uh, three, grab these three keys and just drag them back to uh, shorten that duration. So uh, down. Now I might do a little antic up first before uh, he puts it in. So I'll just pull it up. So we go boing up, and then I'll have him slam it in to the holster pretty quick <clears throat> actually I want to put his hand in the same position I can't see the holster of course because it's an imaginary one at this point um, but this particular um, pose here of the arm I want to use that again at the end you see it's different to the end pose the two the two holster poses are different but rather than try and line them up and a bit of guesswork I'll just copy these three frames by pressing Control C, I uh, select the frames first, of course. Control C. <clears throat> now I can Control V, and it puts them in place. So now we can look at the two keyframes, and they're in exactly the same position. The uh, the keyframes anywhere in the timeline, the keyframes can be copied and pasted, um, wherever you like. So let's have a look at the animation so far. Shift Enter. Good. Right. Now that that's animated, let's do some drawing substitution. Actually, before we go ahead, I'll um, we'll do some drawing substitution in a sec. But I'll just pull his hand out to the waiting pose again. So he holsters and then comes back out. I'm going to copy and paste the first frames. Control C and put them at the end. Control V. Boing. All right. Done. Now we're going to do some drawing substitution where we make the hand change shape using the drawings that are in the hand symbol. That's extremely easy. So I'm going to change his hand to the, the gun shape as soon as he hits the holster. So bang, it's like he's uh, actually, let's just make it delay it a little bit because it's a pretend gun. Um, I'm going to make it this frame. So he he hits the holster and then as he starts to pull it out he's gonna switch to the gun shape all I've done there <coughs> I'll just go do that again uh, select the frame that I want to change which is this one now here in the library we've got the hand symbol and if you remember the hand symbol has four drawings in it I just use this slider to choose the frame that I want to put in uh, I can type the frame number here if I like, but I'm just going to go along looking at the frames. Wherever I put the slider and let it go, that's the drawing that will be substituted. So now, bang, there we've got our gun. Now, I've added a little bit of animation to his thumb just to make a, a kind of like hammer, hammer cocking bit, so it just goes. So I'm going to do that just before the... Um, just before the recoil animation and I'm going to do that here so I select this frame remember the stop motion frames um, that we added um, well I'm going to select one of those frames uh, I think it'll be this one and I'll just uh, start I'll choose the next keyframe in the animation which is uh, he's starting to lower his thumb and then <coughs> uh, I'll make this uh, to hold that one for two frames and then uh, then go to frame four for the next one. So it goes click, bang. So I might just move those along a bit. I can just select those frames. 
Um, I'm going to put that back to frame one. Uh, sorry, frame two, and move the animation along a bit. So this can be frame three, and that can be frame four. So I've just shifted the, that animation along a bit, the animation of the thumb, just so it happens right immediately before the the thing. Now when he's when he um, he fires, we'll have a look at it. Bang! Uh, I want him to put his thumb back up. So, boom, uh, I want him to put his thumb back up around here. So he's, he fires, the thumb goes down, give it five frames or so, and bring the thumb back up. And I do that by selecting the frame and then finding the drawings that I want. Select the frame, drawing that I want, and there we go. So now if we play it, he's um, doing a bit of thumb action there. And finally, when he puts the gun back in the holster, I and he starts to pull his arm back, I'm just going to make him uh, go back to an open hand. Right, so let's have a look at that. Very, very nice. Uh, what's going on here? Um, Uh-oh. Something weird happened. Um, I'll just drag the timeline back to that first... Keyframe, uh, uh, last keyframe, and it's just shorten the scene a bit so there's not so much blank space at the end. Now I'll click this um, loop button, which loops the playback on the timeline, and press play. <clears throat> the shortcut for play, as you know now, is shift enter. Bang. Great, and that's how it's done. Drawing substitution. In the next video, uh, I want to talk about. Um, doing uh, how a more complex character, a full character, is rigged up and why it's such a big job and why it puts a lot of beginners off, especially when they're thrown into that. Um, and also the different angles um, that uh, that you would need to do if you were doing a full... If you're working for a studio um, and you needed to break down a character, you would have to do more than just one angle. It would be like uh, front view, side view, two, three quarter views, front and back, and um, and a rear view. So at least four um, separate rigs for each individual character. Um, as you saw with the drawing substitution, that's how you would animate lip sync. Inside the hand symbol, we've got these four drawings. Well, inside a mouth symbol, you would have all the mouth shapes that you'd want to use. And that way you could um, then keyframe the lip sync when you've got the sound on the timeline, which is something we'll cover at another time. But I um, hope you've enjoyed this introduction to IK, and we'll see you in the next series. Goodbye now!